Well, good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for being here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we invited you here today to announce the formation of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office Cold Case Homicide Unit and the unit's first success, the identification and charging of a defendant in a homicide that was committed in Englewood, New Jersey on July 4th, 1999. We have asked our Attorney General to be here with us because he and our Chief of Detectives, Robert Anzalotti, developed the concept of a unit specifically dedicated to concentrating on unsolved homicides and bringing them to successful conclusion while the Attorney General was serving as the Bergen County Prosecutor. Chief Anzalotti himself has for years personally worked on numerous cold case homicides with the Major Crimes Unit of our office and has solved quite a number of cold case homicides. The Cold Haze Homicide Unit is a joint effort by the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and the New Jersey State Police. Our State Police Superintendent, Pat Callahan, could not be here today, but we are pleased to have Major Jeffrey Noble, the commanding officer of the New Jersey State Police Office of Forensic Sciences, here for this announcement. It is actually appropriate for Major Noble to be here since many cold cases cannot be solved without the assistance of for advanced forensic science technology, which his office provides, and which was critical in solving the cold case homicide we announced today. We also have Englewood Police Chief Lawrence Suffern here. His department worked closely with our cold case unit in solving the 1999 Englewood homicide recently solved. This unit is dedicated exclusively to the review of cold case homicides in Bergen County. The unit resides within the major crimes unit of the prosecutor's office and is comprised of one Bergen County prosecutor's office detective sergeant, an on loan detective from the New Jersey State Police major crimes unit, and the senior Bergen County assistant prosecutor who is concentrated concentrated on homicide prosecutions. This cold case unit is testament that the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office does not forget the victims of violent crimes, no matter how much time passes, and that we will dedicate the energy, the commitment, and the resources to bringing justice to those victims whenever possible. I would like to ask our Attorney General to speak about his concept of the cold case unit and its importance to the residents of Bergen County, after which our Chief of Detective Rob Banzalotti will add his remarks and give you some details about the cold case homicide we recently solved. Attorney General. Thank you, Prosecutor Callow. We're here this afternoon to bring a measure of closure to the families, loved ones, and victims of cold cases or of unsolved cases. Cold cases, specifically unsolved homicides and sexual assaults, leave the families and victims with not only a lifetime of grief, but also a lifetime of fear, anxiety, and unanswered questions. But all of us here this afternoon are motivated by a desire to bring justice to the victims of such crimes and to their families and friends, particularly to those who, have, who are currently grieving the loss of a loved one. And all of us here this afternoon are motivated by a desire to answer those unanswered questions. Again, by a desire to bring those individuals some closure. As Prosecutor Callow said, when I was here as a Bergen County prosecutor, I had many discussions with our Chief of Detectives, Robert Anzalotti, and the command staff of the New Jersey State Police about the formation of such a unit dedicated solely to investigating cold cases. A unit comprised of highly skilled investigators, 
focus not only on looking at old crimes through a new lens, but applying new sciences, new forensics, new advancements in technology, such as cutting edge DNA testing and other tools in those efforts. And in January, under the leadership of Prosecutor Callow and Chief Anzalotti, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, with the assistance of the New Jersey State Police, in fact, formed such a unit. And in the ensuing months, they started the arduous task of going through old cases, unsolved cases, and triaging those cases and identifying those cases that could be brought over the finish line to closure, that could be solved using that new technology. And within months of undertaking those efforts, we're here to announce the successful conclusion of one such investigation. As Prosecutor Callum mentioned, today we announce charges against Jose Colon for the July 4th, 1999 sexual assault and murder of 33-year-old 33, 33 Hio J. Lee in Englewood, New Jersey. What transpired here at the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office is really a textbook example of the type of successes that can be achieved through collaboration between law enforcement agencies and through leveraging the different technology available to different agencies, including the state police. By dedicating manpower and leveraging those resources and working together, I am firmly confident that we can solve additional homicides that remain unsolved, additional sexual assaults that remain unsolved. And it is my hope that in the months to come, in the years to come, that we will establish similar units with other prosecutor's offices in partnership with the state police and also at a regional level in order to bring more closure to more families and to more victims who continue to seek justice for themselves or for loved ones. Again, I want to commend the New Jersey State Police under the direction of Colonel and Superintendent Pat Callahan, who unfortunately could not be here this afternoon. I want to thank Major Jeff Noble and the men and women of the New Jersey State Police, some of whom are here this afternoon, uh, for their extraordinary work on this matter and for their extraordinary work day in and day out. I also want to thank the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, again under the direction of Prosecutor Callow, Chief Anzalotti, not just for their excellent work in this particular case, not just for their commitment to this case, but also for their initiative in launching this unit and the commitment that they have shown over the years to solving these types of cases and that they will continue to show in the time to come as we address more unsolved crimes in Bergen County. Now let me just turn it over to, to Chief Anzalotti, uh, who will provide additional details about this specific case. Thank you. Thank you, General, and uh, thank you, Prosecutor Callow, uh, both for uh, your remarks today and, and more importantly for your support of this initiative. Uh, this initiative, this cold case task force initiative uh, has been a dream of both mine, um, some high ranking members of the state police such as Major Noble for many years. We've uh, together been involved in homicide investigations for uh, several decades now. Um, and the state police has been a phenomenal partner with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office on a host of initiatives uh, from organized crime cases to uh, now homicides. They're, they were a natural partner to reach out for uh, to do this initiative with. I can't thank them enough. Um, this particular case that we announced today occurred on July 4th, 1999. It was a Sunday. I remember it well. I was a young detective in the homicide squad working the case. It was a tremendously hot day, and the detectives of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office uh, worked tirelessly for weeks uh, to try and solve this case. It was a, a vicious case of what we determined to be a, a stranger rape and homicide. The victim's body was found behind a dumpster uh, in, uh, off of Central Avenue in Anglewood, New Jersey. Uh, she had been sexually assaulted and strangled. We quickly um, developed a suspect that we were simply unable to put a name to. Uh, and how we developed that suspect was through good old fashioned police work. Uh, but again, it was a person. We found out that that person had traveled here from out of state um, by bus, had hitchhiked the ride from Port Authority to come to Englewood and had basically just befriended people uh, as being someone new to the neighborhood, but um, eventually came across this victim in a random way and attacked her. Uh, it was not until the recent developments by the new cold case homicide unit of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office that through new forensic science um, done by the Office of Forensic Sciences of the State Police Unit, 
that we were actually able to put a name to that suspect. And again, from a detective standpoint, I could tell you it's been almost two decades of frustration knowing that we had who we believed to be a serial predator that randomly attacked a member of our community, but we were never able to put a name to that, to that person. Uh, and through the recent developments in, in the forensic technology now used by the state police lab, we were able to put a name to that. And that name, as you now know, is the person we've charged, Jose Colon. Jose Colon is currently a fugitive from justice. We are actively working with uh, our federal counterparts in the Department of Justice and our international contacts through Interpol to try and locate uh, Mr. Colon, who was last known to be in uh, Nicaragua after being deported from the United States. Uh, so hopefully those efforts will be fruitful, but we want the public's assistance as well. If anyone has any information on the whereabouts of Mr. Colon, uh, by all means, please reach out to us uh, and we'll take any tips that we can, that we can certainly get.